Welcome back to Elden Ring. We're at the gate front and we're finally going to go to Stormgate, which is a place I feel like we were meant to do in the first couple hours of the game, so it might be hilariously easy. I don't know. Hello, fellow. Got a big boy up there. Ow! That works. Help me, Torrent. Here we go. The big attack. Oh. Okay, let me see if I can bring them through here. Yes. made a mistake with there we go <sighs> they are terrifying those giants are definitely not trivial even now Now we can be a little sneaky. Oh, well, never mind. Decoy ahead. Didn't expect skill. I feel like there needs to be a message here warning you about the giant. Does no one do that? Try defeating one by one. I mean, yeah, it's good. But yeah, I'm going to leave another message. Be wary of up.
Be wary of group. Be wary of ambush. Try stealth. Okay. Yeah. That's neither really a strength or a dex weapon. Very modest requirements. Warhammer with a hard protruding beak. Designed for combat, in essence. A simple but highly effective weapon, the weighty piercing attack casually rips through metal armor. It's weird. It says the weighty piercing attack. Piercing. But then... If you look at the type, it's actually striking. Pierce is a type. It's a specific type, and that is not piercing. That's confusing. Anyway, I want to see what this thing looks like. Oh, well, it's pretty small, actually. Well done. Visions of storm. Yeah, it's quite stormy up here. Now, what is this place called again? Stormgate. Well, I'd say that's rather appropriate. Storm Hill? <gasps> Golden Seed! Nice! Actually, hold on. There's probably a... Sight of Grace, just up here a little bit, I would guess. Oh, woofers! I really love how the vegetation looks blowing in the wind. It looks really cool. So well done, that effect. Yes, side of grace. Praise the here. Stone sword key. Everyone's been grafted. Everyone who came with me, they crossed the sea for me, they fought for me, <laughs> only to have their arms taken, their legs taken, even their heads taken, taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know, if you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid? It's quite a lark when you think about it. Grafted to the spider? That sounds horrid. Tell me more. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle? Mm-hmm. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider? No, well, I have not. Says two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs. Or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. This is horrifying. Oh, I know. Can you take this 
this little one along with you. Spirit jellyfish ashes. Oh. The poor thing deserves someone braver than myself. And the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It will be glad of your company, I think, the little un. Little un. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I love them. And that, despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? Okay. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you tell them I love them fine again? I made a mistake by reading those messages. Never ever read messages around anyone who looks vaguely like a woman in Dark Souls. Okay, now that we have this place, let's go back here. Item ahead. Oh, yes, there is. Still no secret passage. I know, right? I could Google whether invisible doorways even exist in this game, but I'm not gonna spoil it. I wanna keep the mystery alive. Cause when I do find one, I'm gonna gasp. I just noticed something, I think. I don't know if this is torrent or like maybe my staff or something like the jewel on the end of it perhaps but it seems like there's a very very faint light in front of torrent like beneath their head do you see it on the ground if you look beneath their head on the ground it's definitely illuminating the ground got little headlights just not sure where they're coming from Yeah, I want to check out this whole ridge, because I haven't been up here at all. I've been down there, but not up on the ridge. There's there's an incredible amount of giants up here. Three, four, five. I see five. Is there something over there? Just Estes. I 
I hope I get a potion back for each giant, because otherwise I am not going to have the FP to take these on. Leave the babies alone. Okay, do I get anything back? I do. Oh, thank God. Try a giant sort and then item ahead. Do we need a giant to hit it? Oh, did somebody spot me? Or are they just being just generally angry? I think they're just generally angry. <laughs> but yeah, I think I need one of them to hit it. Come on. There we go. Did that do it? Well, I didn't do anything. Ah! Oh no, there we go. I don't know what they did exactly, but a piece of it fell off. Smithing stone. Oh, a couple smithing stones. Did not mean to do that. go home. Time for legs. Try skill. That's always a good tip. So yeah, this is another way to get up here is by that vortex.
With this storm, it's hard to see anything. Oh, there's a camp here. Okay, now that it's dark, we can see the light a little bit better, and it's not the staff, because even when I switch weapons, it's still there. Is it just Torrent? I think I still have a slight light, but I think it's mostly Torrent. I think the light gets bigger. Yeah, the light gets bigger with Torrent. <laughs> torrent has little... <laughs> little beams. There's a lot of messages out here. Strong foe ahead. Be wary of bird? Try a wolf? I think they mean summon wolves for help. Oh! I mean you no harm. Please leave me alone. <sighs> I didn't want to have to do that. Thank you for your thin, thin bones. Okay, so this one, the ambush shard, might be perfect for them. Because they have a big old shield. Uh, uh, wait, I'm sorry, do they have a back shield? <laughs> okay, better. I swear, one of those that went behind him somehow still did like 30 damage when they had their shield out, even though it was behind him. But I don't know, might have been a fluke. I think that was the only strong one in here. Treasure chest ahead. Face first into the fire pit. Treasure chest, something incredible ahead. Not a trap. Beast crest heater shield. How does that compare? Oh, it does 100% damage negation. Uh, well, physical damage negation. And slightly better guard. Ooh, from 83% to 100% physical. Ah! Yes, like I was saying, this thing is great. It's lighter. Requirements are very modest. Yeah, this thing's fantastic. It's quite a bit prettier too, much prettier. Oh, I love it. Let's get a parry with it. Nope.
I still haven't gotten potions. Oops. That's fine. I still haven't gotten potions back, which means there's still an enemy left in this camp, I think. If I take out the group, I should get something back. I love the ghost of some random person just, like, crouching around being a sneaky little ghost. Gonna get whisked. Ah! There we go. Got my potions back now. So that's a little encampment on the way to this bridge. So I'm supposed to go that way. I suppose this is the castle? Looks like a castle. I see lots of circles. I'm not seeing that much of note here. Like, in this whole region, I don't see any, like, clear buildings exactly. Just ruins, walls, nature. I suppose this does look like something. If we go forwards and then take a right at this road here, we should be able to get to it. Also kind of want to see what's this way. I mean, I know this will lead to the bridge, but I want to see what everything up to the bridge looks like. Maybe from above. Let's go up here. <gasps> pot boy! I see pot boy! Pot boy, pot boy, pot boy. Friend ahead. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Help me. I'm stuck. Hello. Oh, my stars. I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, can you help me out of this? Of course. My thanks. A thousand thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear with something nice and big. And I'll pop clean out, I'm sure. Don't dally. No, there's no need to fret. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. Okay. More? There you go. Ah. Well played, good lady. Well played. Though that mighty wallop of yours almost spelt the end of me. <laughs> ah. Well, I'm out now, and that's what counts. I thank you. And as a token of my appreciation, I'd like you to have this. Thank you for the exalted flesh. Once again, the pleasure is mine. I am the warrior jar known as Alexander. Iron Fist Alexander, in fact. Warrior Jar. I journey to the east, where I intend to further my education in the ways of war. And beyond these lands lie the scarlet, rot blighted Kalid wilds. And upon their southern edge is Redmain Castle, in which a festival of combat is being held. I'd heard whispers of such festivities before. Doesn't the notion set your breast a flutter? <laughs> I'm heading eastward to Redmain. I've heard there's to be a festival. Good luck. I hope we see them again. Plump sort seems familiar. 
Offer beating to a pulp. Um, yeah. It's a sight of grace down there. Oh. One of those pumpkin-headed giants? Oh, that's just to get flasks back. I don't need that. But, uh, yeah, I do want the Sight of Grace down here, for sure. First off, friend, therefore jumping required ahead. Yeah, pointing towards Pop Boy. The experience of Elden Ring would really be poorer if somebody missed Pop Boy. Right. I'm not going across there. Let's follow the road west and then take a right to get to this building or whatever it is. Another side of grace. I should probably spend my souls. Actually, there's someone to talk with in there, so I should talk with them first, just in case they're a salesman. Does your faith in the guidance of Grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? My faith holds firm. Yes, you're a tarnished through and through. Takes me back. But that's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Now's the time to pass them on to a good and proper tarnished like you. Hmm. Learn skills. Let's keep talking first. There's a myriad of battle arts in these lands that I've yet to discover. Mementos of all the warriors who raised their arms in battle, lost and died. A fine tale, all told of true chivalric romance. That's how I fell in love with the sword and the arts of combat. It grants meaning even to falling in battle, to death itself. Ah, oh, so we can learn Ashes of War. <laughs> Ash of War, no skill. Usable on shields and torches. Does that do anything of significance? Like, other than obviously giving you no skill, does it also, like, boost something else? Parry. Well, these aren't very expensive. I think I might as well just buy them all. Unless you've learned more skills, there's no reason to meet again. I've just bought everything you know. Oh, not had your fill, eh? Worry not. Have enough to keep you busy. I don't think that's true. No, it's it's really not true. Yeah, let's check our ashes of war. So, like, uh, with the shield, for example, what do we have now? Parry, which we already have. Barricade shield and no skill. No skill, it doesn't boost any, like, it doesn't boost the damage negation or anything. It's just no skill. 
Out of curiosity, like, what does the description for that Ash of War say? Grants no affinity to an armament, nor places any skill present with the following. No skill. This armament has no skill. If the armament in the other hand has a skill, that skill will be used instead. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, this actually could be very useful. If the armament in the other hand has a skill, that skill will be used instead. So if I put this on my shield, I'll no longer parry, I'll whisk. That actually might be really good. Because I use parrying so rarely. And that would allow me to whisk without having to switch to two-handing it. Oh, I like that. I'm actually going to use that. I wonder if I'm like the only person that actually uses that. <laughs> Cool. Um, but yeah, for this, I, I mean, I don't want to change it. So these are all just like kicking and buffing. Quick step. It's interesting. Storm stomp. Gravitas. Nothing for the staff. I don't know if there will ever be anything for the staff. Yeah. So can I whisk now? Yes, I can. And it basically just automatically goes one-handed, because you do have to use two hands to use the skill, so it just kind of automatically puts it on your back. Um, how quickly can I go from this to, like, shielding? Pretty quick. Yeah, and I can always switch back to parry if I want to. Like, if there's some specific encounter that I feel like would really benefit from it. Cool. Let's actually pass time so I can see better. It's really hard to see anything when it's dark. It's already stormy. Right, there was a turn in the road, just here. Oh no. God, so many puppers. Ambush ahead. Wolves, I'm guessing? Strong foe ahead. Oh! Torin? Invaded by... Resuscent Henricus. Okay. How about Ark? Okay. How about Shard? Maybe Ambush Shard will, like, they won't see it, so they won't dodge? That does seem to be the case. Just 
just takes a lot of FP to cast it. Ah. Hammer talisman. Depicting a hammer and a knight enhances stamina reducing attacks against a blocking opponent. Hammers are highly effective against shield-bearing foes, so much so that they are known as Night Killers. Look at those sticks go wibble-wobble. <laughs> it looks silly, I love it. Competitive multiplayer. Use Duelist's Furled Finger to write a red summon sign. Uh, no thanks. All I wanted was to fight. To fight as a warrior to the last. So why? Why, O oh God, guidance of grace, will this door not open? Hidden path ahead. Hidden path ahead. Underground tomb ahead. Sure. <laughs> and there's a ghost of someone else on their horse also hitting the freaking wall. They're all liars, the lot of them. Let's go check out this break in the wall. See if I can get up on the wall from there. And I also want to go here to that edge because I think I can jump on top of this from there. And I saw an item up there. But yeah, break in the wall first. Or, oh, that's not a wall. That, that's a bridge that is very, very, very far up. I am not getting there from the break. My god. Those are new. I think they're like flame slugs. Neat. Oh, they probably don't even... Oh, no, they do attack me. <laughs> They're so cool. I love them. Could this be a material? strength. Piercing. Considered a type of great spear, this weapon has no blade but instead features a long conical body designed to pierce. Though heavy and hard to wield, this weapon displays its worth in horseback combat whether mounted or even on foot. So good on a horse and good against people on horses. how long is this thing? Very long. I wonder if there is actually a special bonus if you use this thing against someone on a horse. Like, does it make it very likely you'll just knock them off? Urgh. And what did it require? 20 strength. I have 13. If I dual hand it, I get my own strength plus 50% of my strength, which would not be 20. So even two-handing it. 
is not... Wait, is that true? I don't know if it rounds up or down. Let's say... Well, I don't know. Let's say I had 12 strength. Half of that is 6, so it would be 13 plus 6, which would be 19. So actually, if it rounds up, I'll have 20 strength. If it doesn't, then I'll have 19, which wouldn't be enough. Does the red X go away if I'm two-handing it? It does not. I don't know if that means I don't have the strength, though. Like, how do I know? I don't know. I want to explore the tip up here. Nothing sh is shown on the map there, but I don't know. It feels significant, and I think we can get up from there. Wait, what were these messages? Hold on, there's something here. Oh, yes. Underground tomb. Unthinkable. Our hollowed resting place is violated. To refuse the Ur Tree's call to return, to live within death. Sickening. I gotta upvote these, because I probably wouldn't have noticed this if it wasn't for all these messages just here. A cluster of messages always means there's... well, usually means there's something significant. Precious item ahead. Death touched catacombs. Time for guard counter. Try jump attack. Be wary of corpse, but try attacking. Be wary of skeleton, therefore dashing through. Oh, I love how they put on their heads. the lantern here. Hi- whoop. Thought I heard something. High road ahead. What does that mean? Scimitar. Curved sword with a single-sided blade. Delivers slashing attacks with its sharp blade, but is ineffective against thick armor and hides covered in tough scales. Smaller in size than most curved swords, it carves into enemies with quick, sharp cuts. Right in the bones. <laughs> okay. Be wary of up. Uh. 
Be wary of bow. Up. Oh, they just fall into bones from the strength of that attack. That's so cool. Ah, I see the up. Well, there's not much point in killing them because... Oh, they came down. They roll. There's some enemies coming. Uh, they haven't spotted me. They're just hanging out. Wait. And eh, they're making me nervous. Blood rose. Blooms, um, uh, blood like roses that bloom in blood-soaked soil. Particularly beloved by those who serve the Lord of Blood. Glory to his inevitable reign. Visions of Skeleton. A heavy door is opened. Oh, try sorcery. Weak foe ahead. Be wary of weak foe. Okay, I was going to go back and get more healing potions, but it sounds like I don't need to. Just use sorcery. Black knife assassin. Okay, I think we need Ambush Shard. Oh my god. Yeah, you don't have a lot of health. You also just, like, refuse to run.
Assassin's Crimson Dagger. That was a very easy enemy. It's kind of neat though, like it seems incredibly slow and unresponsive until you kind of get close to it and then it pulls some very fancy fast moves. Why is it always skeleton? <laughs> Root, a key item. A source that gives rise to those who live in death. The beast clergyman found at Beastjill's Sanctum in the distant east collects and devours these roots. On the night of the dire plot, the stolen rune of death enabled the first death of a demigod. Later, the Rune of Death spread across the lands between through the underground roots of the Great Tree, sprouting in the form of Death Root. So this is the second reference I've heard to the East. Potboy and now this have mentioned going to the East. This sounds like, given that this is a key item, this sounds like I can actually get to the East. I was wondering whether that was just a distant concept or something we're actually going to physically go to, but I think we might actually go to it. Oh, the Assassin's Crimson Dagger is actually a talisman. Misshapen, stained in crimson, critical hits, restore HP. Hmm. It's modeled after the darkly gleaming blades used in the Night of Black Knives, those which gave the demigods their first taste of death. Critical hits, restore HP. Sounds very neat, but this... Radagon's Scar Seal is still so good. Ah, oh, High Road Ahead makes sense now for this little spot that we didn't go to. Yeah, that's where the archers are, because there was an item up here. I knew there was some way to get there. Pack ahead, be wary of pincer attack. Katana. <laughs> I have an arrow right in my head. Let's continue on to the tip up here. Yeah, all these skeletons or old statues, whatever they are, just littering this whole place. This one's mostly intact, to the point where I was thinking it might get up, yes. So these are not statues. I think these are just the corpses of other giants.
Lance Talisman. Enhances attacks while on horseback. Knights on horseback are deadly foes. They see all below from their lofty position, meeting little meaningful resistance as they charge ahead. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, I want to check out this building.